So we have our town here, and it's a beautiful looking town, I guess. The problem is there are no people in here, but we know how to solve that situation. Because if we go back to our original map, we'll find, yeah, we know how to create an NPC. They're just standing right there and just standing right there, not really doing anything at all. In fact, how, how do we make an NPC like this one move around? It doesn't have to be in a specific pattern or perhaps you want to like run around circles for an extended period of time. And in today's tutorial, we are going to be learning how to do that. So let's go to our town one map and let's just get straight into it. So to start off, let's review how you create an NPC. We create an event, we set an image, we'll set to any random image like this person right here, we'll make sure the priority is the same as characters, their trigger is the action button, and we'll give them some dialogue to say. So we'll go to tab one, show text, this is a dialogue. There we go. And now we have our NPC. But now, how do we make this guy move? And the answer is, this little square place right here called the autonomous movement. And here, we can set it so our event is moving around. So if you may notice, it's set to fixed right now, which means it's gonna be standing in a fixed position. But we have three other choices, random, approach, and custom. Now random, you could probably guess, he's gonna move in a random direction. Approach, that means he's gonna approach the player. And custom means we're gonna set up our own custom movement route. So to start off, let's focus on random. Now, as you can guess, he's gonna move a random position or a random direction every certain amount of whatever. So to determine how fast and how often he's gonna move, we're gonna use the speed and the frequency things down here. Now speed, this is gonna be how fast he moves from one tile to the other tile. So as you may notice on our map right here, we have all these things separated into tiles like this. And if you may have noticed, when playing your game, your player and all the NPCs and basically everything sticks to a certain tile. So this guy is gonna move to this tile maybe, then maybe this tile next time, then maybe this one. Now, if you set it so your speed is say like super fast, number six, very four times X fast, that means he's gonna like zoom in to each tile. He's gonna be pretty much teleporting from one tile to the next tile. He's not gonna be doing it very often, but he's gonna be doing it when he does do it very fast. So if we set it something like slower or the slowest possible, that means he's gonna move like very slow from one tile to the next. And like with normal, it's gonna be more like a natural movement. And like I said, the faster is gonna be the instantaneous, super fast, super crazy tile movement. So for this example, since we have a random movement type, let's set it so it's about a little slower since we want to make it so this an NPC appears just like wandering around, not really doing anything, so he's moving sort of slower. Now comes a frequency, which as you can probably guess, this is how frequent they will move from tile to tile. So if we have it on say the highest, this means they'll be constantly moving. They'll move to one tile, the next, the next, the next, and the next, the next, and just keep moving on and on and on. On the other hand, if we have something like normal, this means we're gonna go to a tile, wait like, I don't know, a certain like tile, wait, tile, wait, tile, wait, tile, wait, just like that. Now, if that's in like lowest or the lowest frequency, it'd be tile, wait a good period of time, then next tile, wait a, wait a good period of time again, then another movement. And so it's gonna be a very low frequency in which they move. So don't get these two confused. Remember, speed is gonna be how fast they move from one tile to the next, and frequency is gonna be how often they do move from one tile to the next. So, well, like I said, we have this random guy who just appears to be wandering around. So let's set him to have a pretty slow speed and a pretty slow frequency. Now let's go test him out in our game by going to our town map. So let's go enter in our town right here. And when we come out, we will find our guy right over here. And as you can see, he's just wandering around. He's moving a little, he just saw him move down, he moved down again. Maybe he's gonna move to left or right this time. Hopefully he will. Another bad thing you might want to keep in mind is that when you do have a random movement person, they probably want to be in a more open area. If you make them in a very enclosed area, that means they're not going to have very many options to move around, and thus it's going to either force them to go somewhere else, or make it appear they're not moving at all, since they will just be stuck in a certain position. So that's all for this type. Let's go into the next type of movement we can create. So the next type is going to be the approach type. And for the most part, you won't really use this for any typical NPC, but you may use this in the future events that we'll go over later. But for the time being, approach is gonna be an event that makes it so the NPC approaches a player. Now, whenever you do use this, I would recommend using the highest frequency. So that means they're gonna be constantly moving. And if you want to follow the player, or maybe it's an enemy that's trying to attack the player, you want to be moving as fast as possible, or at least moving as frequently as possible. 
Now for the speed itself, it depends on the NPC, we'll set it to normal for now. And let's go test out how this looks in our game. So once again, let's go into an our blah blah, that I might say enter into our beautiful town. But here we have it, our NPC is going a little crazy, but here he is, he's coming after us, sort of anyway. It's not the most precise following procedure thingy they go through, but as you can see, they are indeed trying to catch up to us. So let's run around over here. Oh, they're coming over here. Let's go. Oh, we're trapped. We're trapped. They have us. No. And finally comes the probably easiest to use, which is a custom. Now this is going to let you use this route button right here. And this is going to let you set a custom route for your NPC. So let's go click on this route button. And it's going to bring up this huge, weird, awesome looking movement controls thingy. Now you can think of this as sort of like the events in which you're going to click on one of these buttons. It's going to add it to the list. Then he's going to go through each event of the list and then do all of it so if we say did move down move down move right move right move up move up move left move left that'd be sort of like a circle so down right up left if you look down here we have the options which are going to be repeat movements which of course this means once you get to the bottom of the list they'll go straight back up to the top of the list we may also want to use skip if cannot move which means if they get into like a situation where they hit a wall or they can't move because of bad planning or whatever it's just going to skip that movement Otherwise, if they do get stuck and you have this unclicked, that means they're going to be just stuck there until they can move. And if they can't ever move, then they're stuck there forever. So just for safety precautions, you might want to keep this checked. Now, the final check is faded out for different purposes. We'll learn about it later. And we also have all these other things. Now, a lot of these are going to be very, very complex. We'll learn about them later. But for the time being, you may want to focus on move down, move left, move right, move up, move left, right for these diagonal ones, move at random, move towards player, turn down to like turn left, turn right, just turn in a certain direction. And if you really get complex about it, you can, but we won't. So we're gonna hit okay, we're gonna hit okay. We're gonna make sure this path is clear. So like, remember we did down, down, right, right, up, up, left, left. And it looks like perfect to me. He's gonna do a big circle around these rocks. So let's test it out by playing our game. So finally, let's go back into our very amazing town. Let's go to this guy and look at him go. He's running around the rocks like we told him to. So he's just going in one big circle, down, down, right, right, up, up, left, left, down, down, right, right, up, up, left, left. If you recall, his frequency is still on the highest form, so that means he's constantly moving, and he has a normal speed, so he's moving at a pretty decent speed. Not too fast, but not too slow. And if we want to talk to him, we just get in his path and say, hey, oh, 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 ooh, yeah, remember? He is skip if cannot move. So if we try and get in front of him, he's, he's just gonna move, keep moving. This is gonna be a little hard, but ah, I gotcha, gotcha. Oh, he's getting away. No, gaha, this is a dialogue. We got him. And then he's gonna just start running in a circle some more. So yeah, now let's go over one final thing. So lastly, we have these couple things right here, which are called the options. Now pretty much, let's explain what they do. This check mark makes it so they have their walking animation while they're actually walking. So if you may notice, a couple of these characters have these walking animation frames that you can use. If you uncheck this, that will mean he'll just look like this the entire time he's moving. And you may want that if you want to disable the animation for whatever reason. Maybe they're got, I don't know, they got captured and they can't move out of the thing they're captured in. Or perhaps they got like, I don't know, I had an example but I forgot it. Anyway, for the most part, if you have a human or moving NPC, then I'd suggest clicking this on. But next comes the stepping option. Now this means they're gonna have the stepping animation when they're not moving. So if you click this, that means if they're standing still, they have the stepping animation. So you can think of it as sort of the opposite of the walking animation. Walking, this is for having animation while you're actually walking. Stepping is for having animation when you're standing still. We also have the directional fix, which means they won't really change their direction while they're moving around. So if we click this, that means he'll always be looking downward throughout his entire movement cycle. And finally, we have through, which means they can move through objects, pretty much. And if you have that checked, that means they'll move through walls, move through anything, and nothing can stop them. So that's all for this video. What do you want to see in a future tutorial? If you enjoyed this one, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe. Please be sure to comment below what you liked and what you want to see happen. Until next time, RPG Maker tutorial. Uh, yeah, this this guy, he's he's pretty weird. Bye.